Okay, we're going to start a new project called Halloween Silhouettes. That's how you say that word right there on the top. And you're going to need a piece of orange paper. Your teacher will have that. You're going to need a pencil to start drawing with. And then eventually you're going to need a black marker and you're going to need googly eyes and glue. But all you need to get started is your orange paper and pencil. Okay, so make sure you have your, pencil, your paper landscape. So the long way, not the tall way, this is no, this is yes, okay, like this, all right? And the first thing you're going to do is draw the ground. And just wait here a second, and I'll show you how far up I'm talking here. It's about two inches, but I'll show you what that is. And you can use a ruler if you want, but I doubt you have one big enough. So just, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It's the ground. So let me see if I can show you. It's that far up from the bottom. I'll back off here. Okay, that's what we're drawing. Just a line across there. So that is the, so it says on your drawing, you must have the ground. So we just drew the ground. Now I'm gonna show you how to draw a tree. And I want you to practice this first. So just find you a scratch piece of paper or draw it on the back. I have a piece of paper here that's just laying on my desk that has other stuff on it. It doesn't matter. I don't need it anymore, so I'm going to use it. I want you to draw something that has like long branches on it. Okay. And mine's going off the page here, but it won't when I do the final one. So something kind of like this. I drew mine with a Sharpie. Okay, I want you to draw yours with a pencil. I just did it with a Sharpie so you can see it. So I'm gonna pause here. I'm gonna go over my ground. So I went over my ground with a Sharpie so you can see it a little better. And then I drew my tree on here. And I don't know if you can see this at all. I'll go over it in just a minute but I noticed I drew it with pencil first. Okay, I'll go over it so you can get it. Okay, so I went over my tree with Sharpie. I don't want you to do that yet until you get your tree right. But what I wanted to point out is when you draw your tree, I want it to be off to one side, but still be really big. So see how it's off to the side over here, but I made this branch come out past halfway. I'd like you to do that because for composition's sake, we want to have it pretty, the page pretty full. So make sure your branch comes out here and make sure you have multiple branches on there. So I have five. See how they kind of come down and make V's? And I made them all go off the page except for the two that come over this way. That's a really good idea to kind of do it that way. Okay, then notice as the tree comes down, it gets a little bit wider as it comes to the ground, okay? So try to draw your tree that way. So get your ground and your tree drawn. And then if it doesn't go right the first time, just erase it and fix it till you have it the way you want it. That's the way I do it. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean that doesn't happen. So make sure you adjust, you erase, you change till you get it right. So as you're drawing it, draw it light. Okay, draw it light till you get it right. Then when you have it right, you may outline it with your black marker, but do not do it till then. Okay, so pause here and start your drawing. I'm gonna color with you too. So I've got it drawn and then I then I outline and draw it with a pencil, draw it light till you get it right, outline it with your black Sharpie. Once you have that done, then you're gonna fill it in. Okay, you're gonna make it a silhouette because that's what a silhouette means. Okay, so pause here and then, or just stop it here. And then after you get that done, we'll go to the next lesson.